Major reversal to U.S. military policy. The president says transgender people will not be allowed to serve in the military. It is a stance that is not sitting well with some local veterans who told Anchor Royal Day the president is wrong. Well, Doug, this is Stephanie Patton when she was serving in the Navy back in the 70s. And this is her today. Patton says transgender military members need support. And today they did not get it from the president. And Patton says that makes the military weaker. I think it's a slap in their face. Stephanie Patton couldn't believe it. The president tweeting the U.S. won't allow transgender people to serve in the military because of tremendous medical costs and disruptions. Patton is a transgender Navy veteran. It says, oh, you, you can serve as long as you're not open. You can't transition, but you can serve. And all that simply says is second class citizen. Do I am something less than. A tweet does not constitute law, first mm -hmm. of all. And so he has an obligation to confer with his military leadership in the Department of Defense and with Congress before such an, a uh, decision is made. Steve Loomis is a national president of American Veterans for Equal Rights. He's an Army veteran who was an infantry platoon leader in the Vietnam War and later promoted to lieutenant colonel. He says he was discharged days before his 20 year retirement mark because he's gay. He thought with the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell in 2011, the LGBT military community would face less discrimination. If they're physically and mentally qualified, they should serve our country. Patton would like to see the president meet with the men and women he tweeted about today. And tell them that they're not allowed to serve openly. Well, the president tweeted he consulted with his generals and military experts about this. It's unclear, though, how this plan will be executed or if it can be. Opponents say this is going to be a tough fight for the president to win. Royal Day, KOAT, Action 7.